hi guys in this video we are gonna fetch this suggestions api such that you have a handle on this uh, um product tongue how can we code and what's the boilerplate that you want wanna write in your project so let's begin with that so in our redux folder we have this action folder and reducer folder so in here i'm going to create a new file called fetch suggestions you can say because we are fetching the suggestion here so fetch suggestions dot action dot js now in here you're gonna start uh, writing the export const because we are gonna export first one and the first one may be fetch uh, suggestion and it will get started right as you know that whenever you fetch something from a server it will it can be it can be that you will get some data or maybe you will not get the data the failure will ha happen so initiation for initiation we are going to typing this name that fetch suggestion start and we are going to give the name uh, we're gonna give the type of it you can give any name that you want so in here the first one is done now we are going to do for the same for the success like whenever you get the data uh, such that you're gonna create a new function for that the name of it you can give any name that you want i'm going to give the name is faith uh, uh, suggestion success now in here what we will get we will get the data right so i'm going to just write in the name like payload and from here we're gonna get the data and which will get return and the type of it is the fetch suggestions okay fetch suggestion the uh, success now we will get the payload right now we will we have got the payload now sometime what happens that you will not get the data maybe some network error will happen so such that you have to handle that part also so for that part we are going to create a new function called face suggestion failure now in here what we will get we will get an error you can give the name as payload but uh, just for clarification i have given that name now in here fetch suggestion now in our fetch suggestions uh, the name should be failure in here and also the payload name is a key in here and the name is error now i have missed out one this symbol okay done now we have done all this suggestion success and failure now what happens that whenever you dispatch action for fetching data from an api so we are going to write that logic in here such that these three function we are going to call in that function so what do i mean by that that i'm going to create a new function export const fetch suggestion and faces and async you can say because this is asynchronous process right so that's why i'm going to write it right by like this so we are not going to pass any um, params in here but what it will return it will return a function if you don't know what i'm talking about just type in the higher order function so that you will get knowledge the code that i'm going to write now what happens that this face suggestion async is going to return a function which will take params as a this function we have written this code in our map state to props map dispatch to props sorry map dispatch to props right so that's the same we're gonna write in here so first of all we're gonna dispatch an action the first action that we're gonna dispatch each is fetch suggestion start right we have it started we have initiated the process for getting data from an api now what happens that uh, it can be a try catch block right because maybe we will get the data maybe we will not get the data 
So that's why if we will not get the data, we are going to dispatch an action called fetch suggestion. Now fetch suggestion will have this failure and the message will be e dot message. Now, if we have got the data, so the same thing that we have to do. So what I can do, I am just going to copy the code for fetching data. So we will have the code in here in our suggestions.js. Now we have this code, right? So I'm just going to copy this file, uh, copy this code. Now I'm just going to paste in here. So we have got the uh, user, but we have used this async await, right? So in here you have to pass async so that we will we can use this async await code. Now we have got this users. Now just I'm going to dispatch the action for this. The action will be face suggestion a success. Now in here I'm just going to pass users. So in this part, we have talked about our uh, accent part, right? Now, the other thing that we're going to talk about this reducer, the same thing that we have built in our fetch fits, we are going to write the same thing, but we are going to write our own because the more you practice more, can you know that what we are doing in our code. Now for this part, we are also gonna write the same thing, face reason, reducer dot JS. Now we have created, now in here the same thing. We are going to initiate a state in here. The first part should be false because we haven't started loading. We will get the data and it should be null first of all. Now again, if we haven't got the data, it means it, we have a failure, right? So the error should be ha having. Now I'm going to use export const because we are going to export this file, or oh, sorry, for this function that we're gonna write in here. So fetch suggestion, in the name of it, fetch suggestion the, uh, reducer. And we have these params that we can pass state init action this means that this default will be init state now in here we're gonna pass a switch case so that we can switch over the action type that we have in our case the following case that we have is face suggestion and we will have a start now, if this happens, we're going to return an state which have a loading to be false, sorry, to be true, because we have started loading and it should be true. Now, if we have a suggestion uh, success, okay, it's not success, success. Now, if we have this one, now we're going to return a state a state with loading to be false and data to be action dot load now maybe there's a case that we will not get the data and if we not get the data it means we have an error and so we are going to Dispatch this action, failure, face is on failure. Now, if it is the, this one, then we're gonna return a state. We will have a loading to be false because we will not get anything now. And the error to be nothing, uh, sorry, uh, to be action.payload. So this part's done and the default case you can give return to the state that we have. So this part is also done. Now the one thing that remains is to give into the store. So in our store, the name that I'm going to give is the suggestions, right? Proper name it can you can say. So suggestions fetch. So you have to give proper name that uh, whenever another developer will see. They can know what's happening in here. 
so we have faith suggestions right we haven't get, yeah we got the face suggestions reducer so we have this face suggestions reducer in here oh what's happening here is there any wrong uh face suggestion is not defined okay just maybe there is not wrong anything okay just uh, save it here now go to your suggestions.js now we are gonna uh, remove these parts we don't need these parts okay so in here i'm going to remove it now first of all we are going to start connecting here we're going to use this connect higher order function of react redux and we're going to wrap it up with map state to props and map dispatch to props now in here i'm going to use map state to props we are going to define it and first of all what we will get we will get the suggestions suggestions and from the suggestions we will get the data and what we have done in here in our suggestions part we just remove this part what's happening in here okay so in here we're gonna pass this users and the data so this part's done now we're gonna dispatch the accents such that we have to define this map dispatch to props now map dispatch to props will have a dispatch as an higher order function and we're gonna use fetch suggestion and use the function in here and dispatching the function fetch uh, suggestion sorry fetch async so this part done now in here we don't need state we need props and in here we don't need this part we need in here we are gonna use this dot props this dot props dot fetch suggestion and just this we're gonna call it so this part's done what's happening in here that uh, just go to your reducer maybe there is some syntax error right oh yeah there is a syntax error in here so now it's cool yeah now it's done now just checking in here okay so we got to check it that we are correct okay we got the data that's fine yeah so we have uh fetch data of using tongue middleware for these two and in the next video we're gonna take to, uh, to a next level using redux saga so you haven't maybe you have heard redux saga so just uh google and just see what it is and it's very interesting you're gonna see how can we done how can we do for this part maybe yeah so stay tuned for the next video